Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to today's Power Flow. As you can see, I'm shooting here from my new studio space and I am so excited to be here. It's given me so much inspiration and so much gratitude. And I want to thank you because it's because of you all of this has happened. So thank you for supporting me. And if you haven't already checked out my online membership, I do have a membership, Tana Studio, where you will find full length practices, breath work, meditation, Pilates workouts, and so much more. So check that out if you are interested. And then when you're ready to start, let's get going. You are welcome to start today in a child's pose. So let's take the knees wide and then nice and slowly just begin to reach your arms out in front of you. Relax your forehead down to the floor and then just take a moment here to settle. If you need to take a little shift left to right or any small movements before dropping into stillness, do that. And then close your eyes. And feel your hips really melt back towards your heels a little bit more as you sense the lengthening of your spine, shoulders, sides of waist, the gentle stretch of your quads. Take a nice full breath in and through the nose. And then open the mouth, gently release. And one more time like that, nice big breath in. Exhale, sigh, release. With that out breath, lift your gaze slowly. Roll onto your hands and your knees in a tabletop position, tucking your toes. We'll start to find slow circles here. Let's explore some barrels as you bend into your elbows, rounding through your upper back arching and extending the spine. Allow this movement to be slow and spacious as you just wake up the body here. You can begin to change directions of the circles, taking it slow, tuning into the rhythm of your breath and your internal rhythm in general. And then with that out breath, start to lean the body forwards, coming into a upward facing dog variation with the knees grounded. Just start to wiggle your heart forwards in between the gates of your shoulders. Take a full breath in. And then as you breathe out nice and slowly, hips glide back towards your heels, active child's pose with the toes tucked. Keep reaching the arms forwards, inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, come into a cat spine, push away from the floor as much as you can, and then lower your hips down towards your wrists once again. Reach through your heart space, breathe in. Breathing out nice and slow, we roll back, same shape, active child's pose. Let's go for one more round like that. Tuck your chin into your chest, hollow out through your armpits, cat spine, and then lower your hips down as you reach through your heart, breathe in. Breathing out, bend your elbows, come all the way down to the earth, hands beneath your shoulders, let's lift the chest, peeling the shoulders right back, exhale, bring it back down, and again let's lift, and we softly lower, one more time, let's lift the chest, guiding the heart forwards. And then exhale, revolt your heart space all the way to the ground. Now push your hands into the floor, make your way back into a downward facing dog. Spreading widely into your fingers and your toes, begin to pedal it out, bending into one leg at a time here. And let's explore some space across the backs of your legs, your hamstrings and your calves. And then on your next in-breath, begin to send your right leg back, come into your three-legged dog, bend into the leg a lot as you pull your heel to your bum. Just allow that hip to open up as you breathe into your groin and your hips. With your exhale, guide the right knee towards your right elbow. Lean the body forwards, hold for a moment. Nice, send your toes back, come into your three-legged dog again. And then over towards your left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back into your foot. Come into a lizard lunge now, stepping your right foot outside of your right hand. Let's sink the left knee down to the floor. Take a moment as you feel into that stretch, into that opening. 
If you have the range, you can start to reach your right hand behind you and grab onto the left foot here, coming into a deeper quad stretch. Otherwise, just keep both of your hands on the floor. Take one more breath. And then nice and slowly, let's release that. Drop your right hand to the floor. Pick your left knee off the floor. Listen carefully. Glide your right foot over to the left side of your space and reach your left arm into the sky, coming into a side plank variation, reaching up into your left arm. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to lower your hips down, lowering the arm as well. And then lift it back up as much as you can using your arm strength. Two more times. Let's lower. And lift. Beautiful. One more time. Lower down. And lift. Push away from the ground. Drop your left hand down to the floor. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog. Reach back into your foot. And then lightly drop your right foot down to the floor. Downward facing dog. Roll forward. Come into plank. Bend your elbows. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Reach through your heart space. Down dog. We glide the hips back. Sending your left leg tall, come into your three-legged dog. Bend into your left leg and feel into the inner thigh here, hamstring. Left knee to left elbow, leaning the body forwards, we hold. Three-legged dog, reach back into your toes. And then over towards your right elbow, lean forwards. Three-legged dog, reach back into your leg. Lizard lunge now, left foot outside of left hand. Sink the right knee down to the earth. Either staying here, if you did so on the other side, let's work deeper into that stretch as you reach the left hand behind you, grabbing onto the right foot with your left hand. If this is not happening for you, don't worry about it. You're still getting a nice deep stretch here through your quad and your inner left thigh. Gently release and drop your left hand down to the ground. You'll start to pick your right knee off the floor and glide your left foot over towards the right side of your space. Reach your right arm up. Now lift up through the bottom hip. Take a breath in. And then breathe out, lower it down like a wave. Inhale to lift again. Working into your arm and your obliques. Lower down. Last time, inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Inhale, lift all the way up, reach into your fingers. Drop your right hand down to the floor and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Send your left leg back, three-legged dog, breathe in. Both feet land to the floor, lightly downward facing dog. Roll forward, come into your plank pose and then take your flow. Try to find control so that you're reloading the arms so we are building strength. Inhale, up dog, downward facing dog. Glide your hips back. Let's land here with a nice connected breath in. And then give it a sigh as you release. Let's flow, guys. Reach your right leg back, come into your three-legged dog. Guide the right knee to the right elbow. Three-legged reach behind you. Towards your left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back into your leg. Come into a high lunge for me, stepping right foot in between hands. Reach up into your arms and get nice and low into the back knee here. Okay, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, you'll begin to straighten both of your legs. Firm your bum and your thighs. And then lower back down. And again, we lift. And we lower. One more time, let's lift. And lower. Nice and slowly, lean the body forwards and take flight in your flying warrior. Reach the hands behind you and try to keep the energy in the chest here as you point into the back toes. Breathe in. As you breathe out, guide your left knee towards your chest, hands together at heart space. Coming right into your figure four, cross your left foot over your right thigh and try to get really nice and low through your hips. Guide that left knee down as you get lower into your seat. And then slowly guide your left knee back in towards your body. Take a breath in. Breathing out, send your left leg behind you, low flying warrior. So I want you to bend into the right knee a lot, point into the back toes and hold. 
high lunge. Lightly let the left foot meet the floor. Reach into your arms. Breathe in. Beautiful, guys. Exhale, drop your hands down to the ground and step both of your feet back in a downward facing dog. Lift your heels off the floor. Roll forwards. Come into your plank pose and then take your flow. Chaturanga to up with face and reaching through half space. Down dog. We roll the hips back. Sending your left leg tall, three-legged dog, reach into your toes, left knee to left elbow, lean forwards, three-legged dog, reaching your back again, towards your right elbow, three-legged dog, reach back into your leg, stepping in between your hands, high lunge, finding that flow, that rhythm, the back knee is generously bent here, reach up into your arms, and then we lift, play with straightening both of your legs. Exhale, bring it back down. And again, we lift. And we lower. One more time, you got it. Lift. And lower. Beautiful. With that out breath, let's fly forwards, come into your flying warrior, lifting the back leg off the floor. Keep the energy in the chest, energy in the back leg. One-legged mountain pose, guiding the right knee to the heart space. Hands together in prayer, find your figure four. Crossing your right foot over your left thigh, getting nice and low into your seat. And then nice and slow. Let's guide the right knee back in towards the center of your chest. Breathe in. Low flying warrior, you're sending your right leg behind you. Reach back into your toes, bend into the left leg a lot. Hold and find your focus. High lunge, lightly let the right foot meet the floor. Reach into your arms, beautiful guys, breathe in. Breathing out, hands melt down to the mat and step both of your feet back in a downward facing dog. Roll forward, plank pose. Take your flow, bend your elbows, chaturanga to upward facing, reaching through your heart space. Down dog, we roll it back. Okay, we're gonna repeat that again and then build our sequence so you know where we're going. Let's reach the right leg tall, come into your three-legged. Right knee to right elbow, lean forwards. Three-legged reach back again. Towards your left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back into your toes. High crescent lunge, stepping forwards. Arms reach tall, keeping the left knee bent. Breathe in. Breathing out, straighten those legs as you firm your bum at the top here. And then bring it back down. And again, let's lift. Find some play, exhale to lower. Last time, let's lift. And we lower down. Lean the body forwards, come into your flying warrior, lift the back leg, open through the chest. One legged mountain pose. All right, as your left knee pulls into the heart space, hands together, find your figure four, shifting your weight back, get a little bit lower than you usually do. You can do it, hold. And then nice and slowly guide your left knee back in towards your chest. Breathe in. Stay with me, guys. <laughs> Breathing out. Send the left toes back. Come into your low flying warrior. So you're really using your quad strength here as you bend into the right knee. Reach back into the left foot. And then make your way into a high crescent lunge. Left foot meets the ground. Take a breath in as you reach into those arms. And then drop your left knee down to the floor. Come into half splits for me. A moment here, a breather. Bending over the right leg. Let's lift the chest, breathe in. And then take a little fold as you breathe out. With your next in breath, lift your gaze, shift onto the right foot. Come right into easy twist, reach your right arm into the sky, lean into the right shoulder a lot. And then we'll make our way into side plank with the tree variation. So you're welcome to stack your right foot on the ankle bone, the thigh, or maybe you want to lift it a little bit higher and grab onto that knee with your right hand. 
wherever you are. Let's hold and breathe for another moment. Okay, nice and slowly. You're gonna drop your right hand down to the floor. Sink your right knee down to the earth. Tuck your right toes and lift your left leg off the floor. Right arm reaches forwards, breathe in. Breathe out, knee to elbow. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. And again, inhale, reach. Exhale, hug it in, beautiful guys. Inhale, reach, hold here. Options, stay here in this active shape or maybe reach around to grab onto the left foot and explore some tiger. If you are here with me, kick into that hand as much as you can, reaching through your heart space, stretching your quad and opening up the spine. One more breath. Nice and slowly, release your foot, right hand to floor, drop the left foot down to the earth behind you and hug your right knee towards your chest. Three-legged dog, breathe in, reach your right toes back. Warrior two, stepping lightly in between your hands. Now ground your feet into the floor as you look over your right fingers. Reverse your warrior, take a breath into your right side. Come into side angle pose, dropping your right forearm to your thigh, reach up into your left arm. And then reverse your warrior again, breathe into the right side. Just one time, come into rainbow warrior, bending into the left knee, straightening through the right leg. And then we glide the body forwards, come into reverse warrior again, breathe in. As you breathe out, straighten both legs and reach your arms up. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, hands meet. Come all the way down into a squatted shape, horse pose. Heels in, toes out. Nice and low through your hips here, guys. Nice and low, get a little bit lower, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, straighten your legs and we rise again, five-pointed, inhale. Exhale, bring it back down. We'll go for a few rounds, inhale to lift. Keep your legs really engaged, exhale to lower. Beautiful, inhale, we rise, exhale, we lower. Last time, let's lift and lower it all the way down. Hands together at heart space, stay here in your squat, finding these baby pulses here. We'll be here for five breaths, stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, <laughs> straighten your legs, take a breath in. As you breathe out, high lunge, face the front of your mat. Ground for a moment, inhale. Exhale, drop your hands down to the floor and kick your right leg into the sky, come into a three-legged dog. Guide the right knee towards the right elbow, lean forwards. Beautiful, three-legged dog, reach back. Towards your left elbow, go for it. Three-legged dog, reach back into your foot. Listen carefully, guide your right knee towards your chest, hold for breath, and then drop that right knee down to the floor. Tuck your right toes, supported side plank. Breathe in as you reach up and over into your left arm. And then as you breathe out, make your way up into gate pose. We reach the right arm to the back of our space. Take a breath into your sides. Okay, nice and slowly. You're gonna lift both arms up. Hug your belly to your spine, doing a little bit of core now. We're gonna lower down halfway. So try to keep the arms straight and reaching forwards. Hold for three, for two, for one. Really nice, come back up, take a breath in. As you breathe out, again we lower down. Let's hold, three, two, one, nice work. Come back up, breathe in, last round. Breathe out, come back down, really firing up your obliques and the rectus abdominis, hold for three, for two, and for one, nice work. Okay, lean over to the back, come into gate pose, breathe in. 
as you breathe out, drop your right hand to the floor in front of you and lift your left leg off the floor, left arm up and over, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow with control if you can. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. Nice guys, inhale, reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach it out, hold. Drop your left foot down to the floor, gate pose. Reach over to the back of your space for a last time, inhale. As you breathe out, look forwards, drop your hands to the floor in front of you. And then you're gonna flip your dog, right foot pulls over to the left side, wild thing. Give your hips and your heart space a little bit of a lift as you reach, breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna drop the right hand to the floor in front of you, pigeon pose. Let's get right into our outer hip glute stretch. Drop your shin bone to the floor. And then let's breathe in to lift. Exhale, take a little bow, drop your elbows to the floor if you have the range. Soften the upper body as you work into that nice juicy stretch for two rounds of breath. And then on your next in-breath, you can nice and slowly start to walk yourself back up with the help of your hands. Push your hands into the floor, tuck the left toes under, and reach your right leg back. Come into a three-legged dog, breathe in. Look forwards, shift forwards into a three-legged plank. Try to bring your shoulders right over your wrists, and then see how you go. Bend your elbows, three-legged cheddar under here. Beautiful upward facing dog, reaching through heart space. Down dog, we glide the hips back. Send your left leg tall, come into your three-legged. Find some play and fluidity. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Three-legged dog, reaching it back towards your right elbow up the side. Three-legged dog, reach back into your leg. High crescent lunge. Slowly stepping forwards and reaching into those arms. Hold here. Keep your right knee bent. And then begin to straighten as we lift, lengthen. Exhale, bring it back down. And again, we rise and we lower. One more time, let's do it, lift. And lower it back down, beautiful work, guys. Okay, shift forwards, take flight, flying warrior, reaching back into your toes. Lift your chest. Make your way into one-legged mountain pose, guiding the right knee into the heart space, guide your hands together. Breathe in and find your figure four. Start guiding your right knee back and towards your heart space. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, send your right toes back, come into low flying warrior. So bend into the left leg a lot, reach back into the right toes, breathe in. High crescent lunge, breathe out. Right foot meets the ground, reach into your arms. Whew, I know this left leg is burning. <laughs> Let's sink the right knee to the floor. Hands meet the floor, come into half splits. Little hamstring stretch here as we take a breather. Breathe in to lift your chest. And then finally fold as you melt forwards. Relax the shoulders, the face, the neck. On your next round of breaths, look forwards and shift onto your left foot. Come right into easy twist as you reach your left arm into the sky. Make your way into your tree side plank variation, guiding your foot to your inner right thigh, or maybe giving it a little bit more of a lift. Take a breath, explore as you push away from the ground. And then nice and slowly, guys. Left hand meets the floor, drop your left knee down to the earth. Tuck those left toes, lift the right leg off the floor. Left arm reaches forwards, breathe in. Breathe out, knee to elbow, contract. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. 
Inhale with control, let's reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, let's reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach, hold. If you played with Tiger on the other side, go for it, grabbing onto the right foot with your left hand. Try to guide the right hand directly beneath your right shoulder here for support. And then kick into that hand. If you're here with me, lift the chest. One more round of breath. Okay, without slingshotting, release. Drop the right foot down to the floor, left hand meets the ground. Stay with me, guys. Breathe in, breathe out. Hug the left knee into the chest and send your left toes back. Three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach it back. Over towards your right elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back into your toes. Stepping forward, warrior two, right in between your hands. Okay. <laughs> Stay with me, reach into your arms. Let's reverse it out. Take a breath into your sides. And then make your way into side angle pose. Reverse your warrior breathe in again. One time, rainbow warrior. Nice and low to the right leg, reaching the hands behind you, low through the hips. Okay, we glide forwards, come into reverse warrior, take a breath and reach into the left arm. As you breathe out, five-pointed star, to the side of your space, reach up into your arms, breathe in. As you plug down into the floor through your feet, hands together, come all the way down into horse. Okay, nice and low through your hips, breathe in. Breathe out, let's rise, and really engage your legs here at the top. Exhale, bring it back down. And again, let's lift. And we lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift and reach into the fingers. Exhale, bring it back down. Hold here, stay with me, stay with me. Finding these baby pulses, lifting and lowering for five, four, Three, don't hate me. <laughs> Two, and one. Straighten your legs, breathe in. <sighs> I'm feeling it too, guys, you got this. Face the front, high lunge. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lightly let the hands meet the floor and kick your left leg into the sky, come into a three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach it back. Over to the right elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back into your toes. Hug your knee in towards your chest. Take a breath in. And then drop that left knee down to the ground. Okay. Come into supported side plank for me, reaching up and over into your right arm. Take a moment as you reach. And then rise into gate pose. Reach to the back of your space. Breathe into your left side for a moment. Okay, we're gonna reach both arms up. Connect to your centers and really feel your core engage. Arms nice and tall, let's lower down. You got this, stay with me. Lower down, halt. Three, two, and one, nice work. Make your way back up, breathe in. With the out breath, lower down again. Hold here, smile, it's not so serious, for three, for two, for one, Oof. yes, back up. Okay, last time, let's do it. Lower down, holding here, for three, for two, and for one. Oh my goodness, well done, guys. Come into gate pose, drop your right hand to your right thigh, reach your left arm back. And then lightly, let the left hand meet the floor. Pick your right foot off the floor, point into those toes, right arm up and over, we breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, we breathe out. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach. Knee to elbow, exhale. Inhale, reach. 
Drop your right foot to the floor, gate pose. Let's reach to the back of our space. Taking a breath into your side as you relax for a moment. Looking to the front of your mat, drop both of your hands down to the ground. Hug your left knee towards your chest and then flip your dog, wild thing, left foot over to the side of your space. Reach up through your heart space and your hips. Take a moment as you explore that range across the front line of your body, your spine and your shoulders. Okay, nice and slowly. We're gonna come out of it. Left hand on the ground. Come into pigeon pose for me. And drop your left shin bone down to the floor. Okay, a little bit spicy here. <laughs> take a breath in to lift. And then exhale, take a nice juicy fall, dropping your elbows down to the floor if you have that range. Melt your left hip down to the floor and just feel into that nice stretch through the outer thigh, your glutes. Soften the face. And then with your next round of breath, you can start to slowly walk your way back up. Plug your hands into the floor, keep your back toes tucked, and send your left leg back. Come into a three-legged dog, breathe in. Breathing out, look forwards, shift forwards into your three-legged plank. Bend your elbows for me, three-legged chaturanga if you got this. Upward facing dog, reach through your heart space. And then downward facing dog. We take the hips back. Nice work, guys. Push into your hands and your feet. Take a breath in. Sigh, release, let it go. Okay, listen carefully. Lift your heels off the floor. Swivel your heels to the left, toes to the right. Bend your knees a lot. Come into a crouching position. And then glide forwards onto your left wrist. Come into a side plank variation with your right foot in front of your left foot. Take a breath. Okay, we're gonna drop your hips down to the floor, keeping the cross of your legs, reach up into your arms, breathe in, and then find a crisscross fold over your legs as you bow forwards. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. Let everything feel a little bit more loose for a moment. And then very nice and slowly, you can begin to roll yourself back up. Plug your left hand to the floor behind you, lift up through your hips once again, take a breath in. And then drop your right hand to the floor, bend your knees again, other side, crouching position, bum to heels, glide forwards on your right wrist, and reach your left arm into the sky. Place your left foot in front of your right foot here, and then lift up, reach into that arm, take a breath. Exhale, drop your bum down to the earth, keeping the cross of your legs. Reach up into your arms, lengthen through the arms and spine. And then find your crisscross bow, bow over your thigh bones. If this feels a little bit awkward and tight, just bend your knees a little bit as you ease into the backs of your legs. Relax. And then nice and slowly, you can begin to peel yourself back up. Drop your right hand to the floor behind you. Lift up through your hips for last time. Breathe in. Exhale, drop both of your hands down to the ground. Come into a downward facing dog. Push into your hands and your feet. Take a full inhale. Exhale, sigh. And then drop your knees down to the mat. Let your bum meet your heels in a virasana position, kneeling position. We'll start to glide the hips over towards the right side. Make your way into a cross-legged seat. Place one foot in front of the other. Guide the hands together at your heart space. And just take a moment here just to tune into your body and tune into your breath, the beat of your heart. Let's take a big breath in. And then sigh, release. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I really hope that you enjoyed that. Please let me know how it went for you in the comment section down below. I would love to hear any feedback. I know it was a super spicy one, so well done <laughs> for staying all the way to the end. Um, and please do remember to subscribe and give me a nice big thumbs up if you did enjoy. 
and then I look forward to seeing you in the next practice.